what's going on, everybody? As I'm sure you guys probably have already heard, um, Logan's Paul, or Logan Paul's, I'm sorry, case, I was fixing this up up here. Uh, case of Pokemon first, uh, was it first generation or first edition uh, Shadowless was fake. Fake. I'll put a link in the description if you want to see it. Uh, I didn't want to like bring it up onto here and play his video on mine. But this is what it just shows you about it. Um, he talks a good bit, a little bit about how disappointed he was. I don't know what the solution is. I'm sure more people probably dug into it than me. But basically, long story short here, uh, was it the card shop show? I think it's like Mealy Pops or something like that. They call themselves out there. I forget the actual name. They end up having like a FedEx shipment come in from overseas with this case in. Um, they do like measurements and weights and all this stuff and everything looks good. They then fly the whole way out to BBCE where, um, oh, I, I just lost the guy's name now on to it. But the, the guy that owns it, Steve Hart, there it is. Steve Hart looks at it and he blesses off onto it, I guess, after doing whatever he does with it. Basically look at the tape, the edges, the stickers, stuff like that there. Shrink wraps this. They then, in turn, those guys fly the whole way, I think it was somewhere in Florida, sell it uh, for $2.7 million. Logan Paul then now buys this for $3.5 million, thinking it's a real deal. You know, BBCE certified this, and, you know, that's what both of them are going off of, really. Nobody opened it, nothing like that. Long story short, Logan Paul gets all these messages saying it's going to be fake from a lot of Pokemon experts and stuff. And so he flies up to Chicago, has a meeting with him, the gentleman that had paid the, uh, that he bought it from, and then Steve Hart with, uh, I can't remember, it was somebody else that worked with him. And they go through, he goes and shows them, you know, this is what I look at and stuff like that. Well... They take the shrink wrap off from BBCE, and then they do the thing. And, I mean, if you watch this, you just see Jaws drop. They open the box up, and they've opened that first flap, and they see Pokemon boxes. Everybody's like, yeah, and then all of a sudden they're like, whoa, because the shrink wrap was bubbly or loose fit, whatever you want to say. And then they go into... Um, opening a box up, and it had G.I. Joe packs into it. it. It was insane. Now, my question for everybody out there is, does this ruin BBCE's credit for what they've done? Now, I've heard, I don't know the truth behind it, people that have BBC stuff and, you know, saying that, you know, their boxes weren't right and stuff like that, their older stuff. But I also know the older times, they had different... Uh, sheets and they were labeled like A, B, C, D, E, D and stuff like that there. And your box was based off how that sheet runs. So you could get a skunk box and you weren't like guaranteed, you know, like, oh, a Wade Boggs rookie in every box and stuff. Plus the set checklists were like double, you know, what was in a box. You need like two or three boxes to put a set together. But... You know, I watched this a few times, and, you know, I know a lot of people are like, well, hey, he's got all kind of money and all this stuff. It still sucks. It's bad for the industry as a whole, just not Pokemon, just collecting in the cards, because it makes you start thinking that who can you trust out there, you know? We got, you know, fake and trimmed and cards into PSA, BGS, um, HGA slabs out there. The only one you really don't see is SGC. Um, across the board, I mean, these are supposed to be experts and the owner, Steve Hart's the one that looked at this box. So, you know, he's supposed to be like your ultimate expert on to it. And this was supposed to be like the only case out there. I'm sure there's some out there people just aren't talking about, but you know, watch the video. There's a part where Steve Hart just looks across and is like, yeah, we were all duped. We could all agree we were duped. 
trying to get that now that's to me as soon as that was said i was like wow i mean i wouldn't want to be like shaking my head yes when he says that sentence because i don't know what the how they're going to all gain their money back is there insurance the bbce has to says once we authenticate it we guarantee it you know kind of like the psa guarantee in a way um i don't know but that one statement there is no, they weren't all duped. They did what they knew to their extent, you know, that it was looked at by you. So they weren't really duped per se. To me, it's one big long scam. But, you know, BBC is supposed to be the expert. They, did, they will not grade individual boxes of these, but they'll grade cases. It kind of makes sense, and it kind of doesn't make sense in a way to me. Um... But if you're not sure about Pokemon, just don't do it, you know? It's just like the same reason why there's only one company out there grade star NBA cards. you got to have experience. You've got to have that knowledge of what you're looking for. If you don't have it, just say, hey, we don't have anybody that's an expert on this, and move on. Do I think it brings discredit to BBCE now because they're in the spotlight? Eh, somewhat. I mean, people are going to question stuff now after this. And I'm not talking about like a 19 freaking 89 score BBC certified football box. Now I'm going to start like saying like the older stuff, the 60s and 70s stuff. You know, people are going to start questioning that stuff a lot too now because they do a lot of it. It's a shame stuff like this happens and it gets through the systems like that. In no way am I blaming, you know, Logan Paul, the guy that sold it to him and, you know, on to it. I think more, you know, that, you know, you pay money to an expert to tell you if it's authenticated or not a little bit there. But it, it, their blame gets shifted way, way downhill to whoever originally started the whole scam. I've heard a lot of people saying BBC is now trashed and stuff. I don't really think so. Does it give you a stain on your record? Of course it does. But, you know, you're going to have errors out there. And it's how you handle it and come back from it. Because this is huge on the news. You know, all social media platforms. This isn't like five, six, ten years ago where people weren't thinking social media as much and stuff. It's everywhere. You know, if you just Google this, like uh, Logan Paul's fake Pokemon box or whatever on YouTube, there's probably 20, 30 videos out there already on to everybody talking about it. I mean, I'm no big expert on Pokemon and stuff. If I was offered this box and I had massive amounts of money, I would have felt safe buying it because BBC is putting their stamp on it, you know? It just really starts now, you know, second-guessing what you're buying out there. Whether it's raw, slab cards, authenticated graded boxes, you know, to authenticated autographs and everything else. You know, a lot, a lot of these experts, I mean, nothing, I'm not trying to knock on Steve Grad or not with Beckett. He's phenomenal with what he does. You know, you really got to dig into that stuff. If you ever watched him on Pawn Stars, I mean, he has a good grasp of knowledge. And I'm sure that, like, if it was, like, um, somebody's auto out there that, you know, was might have been close, he might tell him, hey, I'm not, you know, signing off on, but it's close. I can't guarantee it, you know, at all. But the dude's a, he's a phenomenal expert for Beckett to have. But, yeah, I'm just curious to see what everybody's thoughts are on to this, you know, with all the publicity aside of it being Logan Paul and all that stuff, you know, what's that mean for BBC? And I'm just curious, you know, okay, Logan Paul gets his $3.5 million back from that guy. That guy now has to go back to where he purchased it from. I'm like, dude, you guys sham me or you're going to be wrapped up in courts. And, you know, those dudes just try to flip something to make a big profit when you watch their video, pretty much. You know, what happens if they don't have that money? Whew. I, I think this is going to turn into more bad than anything. Because um, I know they said they bought it from somebody overseas. And I, I don't remember. And it had something like, all oh, the money will benefit their family or something like that that they bought this from. But, man. Crazy times. We got a lot of crazy different videos coming out, guys. I might have a couple two-a-days playing catch-up here. Um, be on the lookout for some more. Like I said, just curious more on the feedback on it. I'll link Logan Paul's video on here if you didn't already watch it. Um, 
it's a shame. It's really a shame it happened out there, regardless of whoever buys the box and how you feel about Logan Paul, or the case and how you feel about Logan Paul, or, you know, or anybody has that kind of money just to drop onto something like that. You know, you never want to wish something like that on anybody at all out there. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one. Catch y'all next video.